At JDolphins.com, Joel Lamb with the voice of the Dolphins, Barry Milligan. It's football time, home opener this weekend. Oh, Dolphins boy. taking on Old Dominion. And uh, last week, a rough game against a very talented Sanford Hall Club. This week, Old Dominion, uh, not nearly as experienced. Uh, Old Dominion in its third game uh, since starting the program. This, this group, though, from Old Dominion is still very talented. You know, Joel, I think the, an interesting thing is to remember, even though this is a first-year team, it's their second year with the program. You know, they had a year to recruit. There are a lot of junior college players, as you and I were talking about earlier, a lot of California kids on this team. There's a lot of excitement about a new program, bringing pride. There's excitement in Norfolk. Are you kidding me? 20,000 people in a packed house for Old Dominion last week in a victory over Virginia Union. I mean, this is a team right now with a tremendous amount of confidence being 2-0 and in its first season. Let's look at the Dolphins for a minute. This is a team that's still trying to find its way, still trying to bounce back. Uh, a lot of injuries, especially that have really hindered the defense. But the defense looked really good last week. It did. Sam. You know, and keep in mind, if not for a bizarre set of circumstances at the end of the first half, it's 13 to nothing, you know, instead of 20 to nothing, which would really, it's kind of like that proverbial punch in the stump, you know, Absolutely. when, when Sanford's able to get a late touchdown and take a 20 to nothing lead into the halftime locker room. I'd say I really think the key to this thing, though, you know, Josh McGregor in the offense, we, we really struggled on offense, just over 100 yards of total offense in the game last week. And Josh has been, he, he's, he's been hampered a little bit, got a little bit of that bum ankle, you know. This is going to be a huge test this week for the offensive line to give Josh protection and for Josh to have the ability to set up and throw the football the way that, that uh, we know he can. I think another thing, too, is that I know you and I talked about during the broadcast last week, is getting Josh to make some plays with his leg. Correct. If, not, don't, if you can break the pocket and yep. they're bringing the blitz, hey, get out of the pocket and run for five yards. Make a pie. I think the one thing Coach Bell will tell you is, Make a positive play out of take a negative play and make it a positive play. Right, and, and again, it's something where he has to kind of mentally forget about the When you think about the injuries, that that's when they get worse sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. You, know? you have to just completely forget about the fact that your ankle is sore when you're out there. And don't worry about the next play. Worry about what's happening on this play. And, and you're exactly right. It makes something positive happen. And the big thing, and another big thing that kind of wraps this game up, this is the last non-conference game with the right. schedule. Your, and then the bye week. This is a big week to really get some momentum going into conference play. And that Davidson game sits there two weeks away. Don't want to get caught looking ahead, but you need some momentum going into conference play. Well, you do. And, you know, more than anything else, I mean, the bottom line, if you don't win this game, it's it's not a killer because it's, it's not a conference right. game. But, you know, obviously, first and foremost, you want to win. But more than that, you want to play well. You want to do what you do well and execute and then let the bye week take care of a lot of the nicks and bumps and bruises and the flu and everything. I mean, this has been a crazy early season and preseason camp with the flu bug that's been going around and all the little injuries uh, that have affected this team in the early going. So, I mean, that two-week period is going to be absolutely crucial for us to get healthy across the board. And, oh, by the way, if we can do it with a W, boy, that's icing on the cake. Absolutely, because October doesn't get any easier than no. what it is right now. That's right. Well, that's it for our preview of this week's game against Old Dominion. You'll be able to listen to Barry calling the game Saturday at D.B. Mountain Field. The bonus pregame show starts at 1230. For uh, Barry, I'm Joel Lamb. We'll talk to you again next week on JUDolphins.com.